So today is the 25th of July, and here is a little potted plant update. You can see these gorgeous impatiens still getting bigger. This is two plants in this pot here. Tons and tons of blooms. I've had these for months now, and they just look great. That's why I love impatiens, because they just last all year. So many beautiful blooms. You do have to keep them in the shade, though. They got like 15 minutes of sunlight yesterday, direct sunlight, and they just started to die that quick. So they do need some good shade. I keep my umbrella open, and it really does help keep these guys nice and shaded. So this is one plant in this little pot here. This thing has gotten huge. It does drop. It's self-cleaning, so it does drop buds everywhere. You just have to clean those up periodically but yeah this one is huge this one and there's spiders all in that so i'm not going to touch that um this one is really nice too this is actually like a neon orange so that's really pretty and then we have my favorite so this is the new guinea in patience um I also love sun patients. I really don't know what the difference is because they look exactly the same. But these are absolutely gorgeous. And again, just like the impatients all summer, the blooms are just gorgeous. So then we have the patchouli here. Doing great. Um, this plant smells so good. If like a uh, gust of wind blows through it you get a nice whiff of patchouli it smells so so good i'll always have a patchouli plant for my porch you can see all of the petals back there and this table was just cleaned yesterday like spotless so that's just one day worth of petals <laughs> they are kind of messy and then we have the citronella here it has a little bit of foliage that has died off and plus there was a few days where I forgot to water all of these, and this guy just took a beating. So, but it has worked really good this year, keeping away the mosquitoes and stuff. It really does have um, a nice citronella scent. Really like this plant. My hand, my hand just from doing that smells just like lemon, like a lemon head candy. It smells so so good. I love this. This is actually, if I said this was a citronella, it is not. This is a scented geranium. So it is a citriodorum. Um, yeah, not a citronella plant, but it smells like citronella. Thought to repel mosquitoes. Definitely does if you sit next to it. And then, so some bad news on my orange hat dwarf tomatoes. Um, the leaf spot, we've gotten so much rain this year, the leaf spot has been out of control. All of the soil has splashed, even though this is mulched, it's not mulched very good. All of the soil has splashed up onto the leaves and infected the leaves with leaf spot. Every single one of my orange hat tomatoes uh, are probably not going to make it. I had to prune this one down. Uh, it does have some tomatoes on it, but I don't know if it's going to make it to ripening. See this gorgeous morning glory. Then we have the catnip that I still haven't put in the ground. I haven't found a spot that I want to put this yet. It is uh, related to the mint family which can be invasive, it can be a bully in the garden. So wherever I put this, I wanna make sure that it's in a container and it's not gonna go crazy and take over my garden. So we'll see about that. The Solosha here, I need to get rid of these. They're, uh, they're done for the year. They lasted a really, really long time. So they really liked it in those pots. And then we have the red Reuben basil going to flower. I'm just going to let this plant go to flower. Um, we have tons of basil, plus I planted some more, so I'm not worried about this plant. I'll let it go to flower for the bees and bugs. More celosia. And then we have the sugar rush peach doing really good in this pot. 
you can see there's a really nice orange one down here and wow this one is really orange pick this off so this is kind of shriveled up i think this is this is a sugar rush peach uh hot pepper plant this is way past its uh ripened stage <laughs> i might just let this shrivel up and save the seeds from it but this is doing really good in here um definitely need to fertilize it but other than that it likes this little pot you can grow peppers in a really really tiny little pot so if you have a porch a little bit of space you can have vegetables and then we have the habanero here it does get baked in the sun it does have new foliage that looks really good though you see this it does have some peppers on it and see all these peppers some down here some bigger ones underneath this is my husband's plant i take care of it but he'll eat it so i will not be eating this guy nor the sugar rush i just like to grow them uh i just like growing things but i won't eat it <laughs> way too hot for me and he said the sugar rush is absolutely amazing but it has like the same heat as uh, habanero. Really, really hot, the sugar rushes. And here are my poor, poor, poor orange hot tomatoes. You can see this terrible, terrible leaf spot. Um, if you look at this pot, which I tried to clean it up a little bit yesterday. You can see where the soil... The rain hits and then the soil splashes up on everything. Well, that is what happened to the tomatoes. And they got a bacterial infection called leaf spot. So, yeah, really upset about those guys. But, oh well, I'll make sure next year when I put those in pots that I have a very sufficient layer of mulch. Um, I didn't even think to put mulch in this little tiny thing. And then we have this uh, parsley here. And then, let's see, so the cilantro has now formed coriander seeds. You can see all of those, and there's another one on this side. But those are the porch plants and let's walk out front real quick and i will show you the coleus and a couple other plants that i have on the front porch run out front real quick so here is the coleus check that out how gorgeous is that that's a watermelon coleus. That thing got huge. Absolutely huge. And I got the pot from Dollar Tree. You can see another New Guinea Impatiens. My wax begonia. Patchouli. Another New Guinea Impatiens. Another begonia. And you can see my gorgeous little kitten there. Which I found right there underneath of that shed. That's where she came from, and she is now our little kitty. Her name is Evie, and she's absolutely adorable and the most cuddly, loving kitten I've ever had. So cute. Sweet little girl. <laughs> so let's look at the front bed real quick. This is the um, calendula that I planted from seed. I got the seeds from Baker Creek. This is the Balls Improved Orange see a little bud forming on it so excited about that out of all the calendula seeds that i planted this is the only one that survived because the bugs just ate it all um you can see some rose bushes back there the gladiolus is past its prime i didn't make a video uh talking about these because they were the same color as the orange ones that i put up here that i made a video about you can see this gorgeous hibiscus, really, really big, dinner plate size. How big that is compared to my hand. So pretty. And I just come out 
and pull the old blooms off, the spent blooms. Always see a praying mantis on this every year. I wonder where he's at. He's probably huge by now. And then the stargazer lily. Really beautiful. So all of these have already bloomed. And they're forming little pods on there. Um, and then, if my husband would have, have not said anything, I wouldn't have noticed this. But check out the elephant ear that came back. Look at that. So you know elephant ear, especially in my climate, zone 6B is a an annual. Well, this came back on its own. I must have thrown um, an elephant ear bulb back there. <laughs> <laughs> because I just looked out here one day and there was elephant ears. I guess I just tossed it back there and forgot about it. But yeah, some gorgeous elephant ear plants. So that is the update of the flower beds and the potted plants. Everything looks great. Absolutely love this coleus. You can see my little coleus under the tree over here the cutting it, it this soil is uh it's just nothing but pine you can see the soil it's like really sandy like not like peat mossy so it's probably like really really alkaline so i'm wondering if that's why it's a different color because the because of the ph so but it's doing good looks pretty good to me um so yeah that is the update and once this calendula blooms over here i'll do another front flower bed update